Hey there. Please subscribe to Monster of Truth. Th thank you. Hmm. <laughs> oh my. I didn't expect anyone to find me back here. <laughs> well then. Hmm. <laughs> Who am I? I'm surprised. I thought you would at least know me by my face. Or maybe it's because my voice isn't right. Well then, what would you say if you heard this voice? Sound familiar now? <laughs> now you know. Yes, it's me. Deku. <laughs> but not the Deku that you once knew. Unfortunately, that Deku is long gone. It's just this empty shell left. <laughs> I'm surprised. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Well, you seem not so scared of me. More so, intrigued. <laughs> Why would a hero like me have disappeared? <laughs> Don't be silly. I never deserved the title of hero. <laughs> hero was not a title that I was willing to wear. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It doesn't matter if I had a natural talent for it, or whatever. The only thing that mattered was power. And that's all Kachan ever thought about. <laughs> so, I decided to take the next step. I decided to run away from it all, and become the opposite. <laughs> hmm? Oh no, no. Don't worry about it. It's not like it was your fault. <laughs> oh, I am surprised. I didn't expect you. <laughs> I didn't expect you to actually consider talking to a villain like me. Normally, people would run in terror. Although you are shaking. <laughs> I'm quite surprised at you. You're quite the brave one. But there is also a difference between bravery and foolishness. <laughs> Although I don't think that you are a fool. It's quite surprising still. That someone like you would be willing to stand up to a villain like this. <laughs> You're quite the brave one. Do you have a name? <laughs> well then, I was sure to remember it. <laughs> what? You didn't think you were going to be memorable in my mind? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. After all, I've never met anyone like you. You're special. Someone that I might be actually be able to depend on. <laughs> what do I mean by that? <laughs> well, I was going to propose something to you. But first, before I do, I need to ask you a serious question. What is your opinion on pro heroes? I see. So you're not a fan of them. <laughs> At least the injustice ones. <laughs> now that is what I wanted to hear. You're quite the smart one. <laughs> you know, you and me are similar. We both share the ideals of what 
the hero killer's stain left behind. <laughs> you were quite amazing. You know that? And I believe that I am right to offer this position to you. <laughs> Why don't you come with me? We'll become a partnership. As villains. Hmm? No. I don't normally work in partnerships. I normally work alone. Mainly because I've always been alone. But, this time, I believe I can make an exception. <laughs> because you and I share the same beliefs. <laughs> of course. I definitely mean it. Why would I be lying about something like this? Prove it to you? How do you propose I do that? <laughs> well, I see. So, it's a pinky promise then? <laughs> Quite the traditional way of doing it. But, I can understand it. I'm sure the old me would have not minded this at all. <laughs> so much nostalgia. Hmm. <laughs> no, no. It's not a bad thing. Pinky, promise. <laughs> huh? Of course. We'll start right away. Unfortunately, that means you'll have to come with me. We'll stop by your house, grab your belongings, and then you'll come with me. Unfortunately, I can't let you wander around too much. I'm glad that you understand. <laughs> for myself you know you have this smell that just doesn't go away no matter how hard the werewolf tried to hide it I could smell the taste of your blood for miles I could smell the sweet sweet taste of your blood, but for some reason it's just this overwhelming feeling of not just hunger, but I can't describe it, you just, it's not, it's not just hunger at first when I looked at you I thought it was thought it was just me being crazy, but your beauty is amazing and your eyes shine brighter than any I've ever seen before. The amazing hue, your beautiful cheeks, your, your hair, your body, everything about you just makes me go crazy and I don't know why. I must find out what. I need to find out why. I'm sorry, but I can't keep you tied up like that. I just... It's my... It's that side of me. I'm so sorry. I... You need to escape before I... I can't control my hunger. It's... 
taking over. Please, just run. I, I can't hold it back. I must feed it. I can't. You're too beautiful. You can't die here. I can tell that you're meant to do more. Just run before I lose it. I'm trying to hold myself. Now it's too late. Just one more bite. Ron, I know you have plenty of blood to spare. I'll keep you here forever. I'll keep you well fed and make sure you're just fine. After all, that blood tastes amazing and Nothing would make me want to keep you here more than that. <laughs> no, no, it's wrong. Stop. Stop. Huh. Go, run, get out of here. Go. I'm sorry, I can't control my hunger anymore. I know I had a bite, but... <laughs> you smell so good. I can't help myself. I need more. So oh, much more. Now, now, don't be like that, sweetie. I know you want me to take your blood and make you my vampire bride. Only if your blood has been consumed can you be mine. What? No, what happened? Are, are you okay? Oh my god, no, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I did, it. I did it again. I haven't fed in so long. And now this is what I've done. I'm sorry. Damn it. Why? Just go. Listen, I did it. I hurt you. Just go, please. You're still alive. Go. I can't help it, but it's my father's curse. He made me this way. Made sure that I was just like him. You see, I wasn't, I was only born to be a, to be half vampire and half human. I wasn't supposed to be this way. That's why I can control my hunger with other things like meat, but it's just not enough. I'm sorry, just go. Before my hunger comes back, I'll take you out of here. <laughs> Looks like someone's awake. Where are you? Let's just say the League of Villains finally found you. You thought you could hide from us? Who am I? You can call me Dobby. <laughs> Look at your ready eyes. You think you could have hid from us for long? You, what do I want? Oh, there's a lot that I want. It's more about what I need from you. <laughs> Someone's being demanding. You think I'm just gonna let you go? <laughs> You're an idiot. You are mine now, silly. And I need information. 
Tell me. Who said I wanted to kill you? If you don't give us information, that's fine. I'm sure I can have fun with you in other ways. <laughs> but that's besides the point. You're gonna sit down here till I figure out what the hell to do with you. Because if you don't talk, I have maze of making you talk. <laughs> you want your little head right there. Now, now. I said this once and I'll say it again. What do you know? <laughs> I'll regret it. Why, is someone gonna save you? Does someone know where we are right now? Because I... <laughs> I sure as hell know that no one knows you or even exist anymore. <laughs> so you might start talking. Or every memory of you will be gone. And then no one will come for you. <laughs> Cry all you want, but... This is how it is. <laughs> Let you go? Let you free? Now why would I do that? I could do whatever I want. <sighs> An interest in you? Whatever do you mean by that? We have. Oh no. You are really pissing me off. And I don't really get too mad often. So here's what's gonna happen. You have to the count of ten. If you don't tell me what you know, <laughs> you can guess what happens. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> uh, you know, that kind of torture works just as well as real pain. You never know if I'm really going to hurt you or not. Why are you so red by that? Am I doing something to you? <laughs> uh, you're really something, aren't you? Truth be told, I just want you for myself. I don't care what you know. I just want you for my desires. That's something you're never going to tell anyone else. Because if you do, I'll make sure you regret it. Understand me? That's a good little one. Now, in about five, ten... 15 minutes I'm gonna take you out of those chains and I'm gonna take you somewhere where I can do more than just what I have been <laughs> whether you like it 
or not. Okay? I know you're gonna like it. Someone's looking a little bit cold. This was just so you wouldn't move too much. You know, I actually do care about you. Believe it or not, I didn't want. Now, now, quiet down. I really didn't want to do this. There's uh, so many ways other than what this is, but you see, I had no choice. Orders are orders, and if I want to follow in the footsteps of the hero killer Stain, I have to do what I must. And if taking you and making you mine is what I have to do, then I will. Got that. Good. <sighs> Go to sleep. Tomorrow's a big day and... It's the start of your initiation. You're no longer a hero. <sighs> Tomorrow you find out what really happened to you. Who you really are. Good luck. Special people catch my eye. <laughs> the last one didn't end up too well because he. Well, let's just say he didn't listen to what I had to say. Oh, nothing. For now, you're safe for the minute. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> There's no need to be scared. <laughs> You're safe. No one can hear you. <laughs> no one knows you're here. <laughs> what did I just say? You are home. This is your home now. <laughs> I'm your home. No, don't shake. Listen, you're going to be very comfortable here. <laughs> Why am I so close? <laughs> 
I just like to look extremely close because I've had to look so far away before. This is the first time I've seen you up close. <laughs> oh, you're so scared. And there's no need to be, as I've said. <laughs> I'm gonna make you... mine. <laughs> what did you say? You are mine <laughs> and you're no one else's anymore <laughs> no one can hear you scream for miles and miles you smell so sweet <laughs> you're not going anywhere for a very long time. <laughs> no, 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 don't cry. You're gonna be safe. We're gonna have a great time. You'll get food every day. True, you have to sleep in my basement, but I can't get homely in here. Mm, I suppose it won't be that comfortable. I have to chain you up. <laughs> but you know, you'll get used to it. And that's all that matters. Too bad I can't not chain you up. I wouldn't want you running away. You might get the luxury of my trust at one time in the future, but for now, I know you're going to try and run away. And you just have to learn that that isn't a possibility. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Your mind will soon change and you'll want to be here forever and you won't know how to cope without me. What? Get away from you? But you're mine. Haven't you gotten that through your head? I own you now. And you can't tell me what to do. It works the other way around, sweetheart. In case I wanted a taste. <laughs> I can just slice your hand with my knife and taste you. <laughs> only if I want to, though, and only if I get mad. So I would suggest not making me angry. <laughs> Stop crying! You look better with a smile. Tears shouldn't burden your face. You shouldn't shake. I'm here for you. I know everything you like. Your favorite food, your favorite show, your favorite movie, your favorite hobby. <laughs> I know where your favorite cafe is. I know what school you go to. I know everything. So we're a perfect match, don't you think? How 
how did I find it out? <laughs> I watched you. I've been watching you for a long time. special because you're you. Your hair, your eyes, your skin, the way your clothes just fall off your body, everything, everything about you is special. <laughs> Why you? It's your fault, really. <laughs> you caught my eye. It's your fault. Because you're you. <laughs> and there's nothing you could stop it. You can't stop. I found you and I'm not letting you go now that I've caught you. <laughs> Stop moving. It's not gonna help. It's only gonna make me mad. And you don't wanna make me mad or else this knife will find a way to your skin and I'll taste how sweet you are <laughs> So we have a new member. You must be the new recruit, huh? Welcome to the League of Villains. My name is Tomura Shigaraki. Hmm. You seem to be an interesting person. And looking at you right away doesn't annoy me. So, I think I'll give you a chance. But first, like to hear what your quirk is. <sighs> I see. That's quite the interesting quirk now, isn't it? Next thing, why? What is your interest in joining the League of Villains? Ah, I see. So your interest is to kill All Might as well, huh? I see we have similar, similar interests. That's a very good thing indeed. <laughs> I think that we're going to get along just fine now, aren't we? Yes. Now then, why don't we go somewhere where we can talk. Indeed, this bar is a little too stuffy for my taste sometimes. Why don't we go and walk around, just like a friendly pair? <laughs> yes, that sounds like the perfect plan. So, I must ask, why did you become a villain? Normally, you would, judging by your appearance, you weren't always a villain, were you? Ah, I see. So you were a normal civilian before this, huh? And you've had no experience with villainy before? 
I see. So you want... You want to learn. And you thought being under us, we could train you. Well, I might be able to do that. Your quirk is interesting enough, and I think it will be a valuable piece to our game. But I think you need to prove yourself first. All new recruits have to do so. So, want to ask you to do, though. You have no combat experience yet. So I can't ask you to do that. That would be a suicide mission, and we might end up losing you in the process. Hmm. What to do? <laughs> I know. How about this? Why don't we run an errand? Indeed. I ask people to do my biddings all the time. They may not like it at first, but they always comply. Or else... <laughs> or else they might get hurt, and we don't want that, do we? No, that's what I thought. So, is there anything in particular? Huh? I see. Why not? We could use some more food. And since you look like a normal civilian, no one will suspect anything. <laughs> That's actually a very cunning plan. I like you already. This new recruit... It's quite interesting. Normally, a lot of members would already be sassy or talk back to me before they learned their place. But this... This person... Is... Very, very interesting. <laughs> I see. You have quite the cunning sneakiness of a villain. What do you mean? But... <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are quite the funny one, aren't you? You are trying to be a villain, and yet you are extremely... nice. Huh? Oh. Well then. I see. If that's what you want, then you can be that way. You don't have to go out into any combat, but it would be best if we train you to prevent you from getting hurt. You can be our errand person, if you don't mind. Since you look like a normal civilian, I think it would be the best position. If we need you, we will let you know. Yes, I will have to introduce you to the other League members very soon. But for now, I have you all to myself. So why don't we chat some more, okay? <laughs> Actually, you know what? You're one of the first people that doesn't annoy me right off the bat. So, I think that I'm going to enjoy talking to you for a while. It seems quite nice, and I hope that you will enjoy talking to me the same way. <laughs> You're not frightened of me. Well then, I think that will make it all the better. <laughs> well then. Our little errand person. Why don't we head on back to the League? We can chat some more along the way back. <laughs> yes, indeed. I believe that we have a long, blooming relationship forming between the two of us. And you'll be a great asset to the League of Villains. Consider yourself an member. <laughs> Welcome to the League, little errand person. 